All right, so we're Jeff, Andrew, and Clifford. Um, we built the Bat Hat. Um, this is it, you can see it. Um, it's an ultrasonic range finding hat with haptic feedback, so it'll vibrate when you're um, close to things. So, um, there, so I'm looking at the ultrasonic sensor right in the front here, yeah. and there's a motor inside the front of the hat that vibrates when you get close. Right, okay. so right now your camera's vibrating the, okay, I'll the motor back. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the whole idea was to uh, give people who are vision impaired um, a good idea, a good way to navigate around without the need for canes. Um, and right now it's it's pretty good. You can detect a wall. Like, I'm not going to hit that wall or Andrew. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you've got about you've got about six feet range. Yeah, about right. six feet range. Mm -hmm. A 60 degree cone. Um, and the vibration in the hat ramps up the closer you get to um, to the obstacle. So. Tell me about the hardware. So we implemented a ultrasonic transmitter and receiver. And we wanted to do relative time of arrival between our pulse that we send out and the pulse that we receive. Um, so we send out a, a 40 kilohertz pulse that is triggered by a microcontroller and it's a very short pulse and we receive a pulse almost immediately because our receiver is right next to it and we time the time it takes for that pulse from the receiver that we first uh, receive and a pulse that comes off maybe this wall over here and back to the receiver and based on that time we can tell how far away based on the speed of sound uh, this wall is from Jeff. And so going from receive to receive time cancels out cancels out any constant errors due to the transmit. Right. right. Very good. Okay. Software? All right. Well, the software is mainly used to send the pulse and yeah. to calculate the distance you are from an object. So we use multiple ISRs in the main function to basically, when ISR is dedicated to sending the pulse, the little one receives it. And the main function basically calculates distance and determines the hap what haptic feedback we should be providing. Okay, so close your eyes now right. and and now turn around and navigate a little bit, you know, spin him a little bit here until he pukes. And then and now now find that doorway in front of you. Okay, now find your way out of there. Just come out, turn left until you can just get by the edge and come out. I'm still getting like full vibration right now. Oh, there's the edge. Okay, so you walk, so if you walk straight forward now, you're going to miss the edge, yes. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. now put your head down a little bit okay. and, and, and so you can, now point to the different pieces of hardware on his head. Okay, so our transmitter circuit is on the left. The receiver circuit is on the right of this bottom board. This is our microcontroller. Uh, these are this is our haptic feedback uh, opto isolated motor, and uh, the motor is actually located inside the hat, right in your forehead. So it's kind yeah, so of intuitive to think this right in here. front of you mm -hmm. and where the vibration is coming from. Mm -hmm. um, Part of the transmitter design is a 555 timer. Part of the receiver time is a bandpass filter, uh, summing amplifier, uh, Schmidt trigger, and peak detector, which mm -hmm. all goes and feeds into the microphone. Now, I'm just going to get close enough that I can hear the motor, okay. and then I'm going to put my hand in front of the sensor so you all can right. hear it. You can also tell when the motor is going by when this is lit up. Yeah, LED. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you all. The bad hat. The bad, bad hat. hat. <laughs>